In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can email yourself from your Python scripts. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about which email provider I use now. So the script here that I've got goes out to this website, returns some JSON data, which we then put into a pandas data frame using JSON normalize. And it's this data that we're gonna send ourselves in a nice formatted HTML table into our email. So I'm using a credentials.py file to store my email data. It's up to you how you store your sensitive data. This is just one way of doing it. We're then importing in SM SMTP lib, which is what we need to actually send the email, and then MIME text and MIME multipart, which is how we're going to use to construct the email. So we're going to write a new function. We'll do it here and we'll call email new and we'll take in our data frame here. Then we need to construct our message, which is going to be equal to the MIME multipart here. Now we just need to add in who it's going to, who it's from and the subject. So I'm going to say our message let's just do a uh, subject here is going to be equal to and we'll just put in new data from today most of the times that i do this i'm emailing myself new information from some service that i'm using then we'll put in message and this will be from and that's going to be the first time we're going to use our credentials so we'll do creds dot and it's sender and then we can just have in our two and this is going to be recipient here so now that we have actually created our message we can start to add the things that we need to to it so i'm going to create a new variable i'm going to call html and that's going to be equal to mime text and then we want to construct the actual html that we've made from our data frame so we're going to do df dot to html and pandas will actually create a nice html data frame for us and i like to have index is equal to false in here because for the data that we've got we don't actually need it then I'm just going to say that this is HTML here. Now we can do message attach and we want to put in the HTML that we have just created there. Now to actually send the email, we're going to be using a context manager because that's going to manage the connection between us and the server without us having to worry. So we'll do with smtp lib dot smtp smtp and then we're going to put in the uh, details for the email server that we're using. Now I did used to use Gmail for this. You could go in and create a Gmail account and you could do allow less secure apps and that would have let you actually send your email this way. But since the end of last month, Gmail actually removed that feature and you would have to use the auth authentication properly through their system. Now that's not a bad thing. However, for me, sending little pieces of data to myself like this, I'm not so worried about that strong authentication or the security. So I moved over and I use Outlook now, outlook.com. You can easily get the uh, SMTP details and send emails through Python using it. Now they are secure, but it's not the most secure. But in this case, I think it's absolutely fine. smtp.office365.com and we need the port, which is 587. And we're gonna say that is as server. Then we'll do server.starttls, which we need to authenticate with the server. Then do server.login. And we need to pass in our credentials. So let's do our creds dot our sender email, and then our password here as well. And then we can finally attach the message and send that over. So we'll do server.sendmail creds dot sender recipient and then finally our message dot to string we need this because otherwise it won't display properly when we actually send it sorry that's as string so that is basically the simplest way that we can do this all i'm going to do now is come to the bottom of my code and i'm going to have if name is equal to main which you should probably include in all of your python scripts and we'll just say that our episodes is equal to the data get we won't call that episodes, we'll just call this data so it doesn't conflict. And then we can do email new for data like this. So I'm gonna run this and it, we should get no errors and it should finish. And I'll just show you the email that I've received in my inbox is now this. I'll just zoom in. Now it is a slightly uh, unappealing table you can style them if you're interested in it but for me it's for just to glance at the data so that's all that I really care about is to get it sent over so just to summarize I am using Microsoft Outlook Office 365 now it's free to create an email 
it allows you to connect very easily using SMTP and server start TLS. So you don't have to worry about those extra steps that Gmail used to do. If you've enjoyed this video, I think you're going to enjoy either of these here, which is more about getting the data that you might want to send to yourself.